Hello, this is Chance Blue, and welcome to Final Fantasy VII, where people that follow me on phones I cannot turn off because the world hates me having a good recording. Uh, we are gonna board this cargo ship because stuff that happened last time that I'm not gonna explain because fuck you phone calls. Um, sorry, sorry. I just want to be clear. Nothing wrong with anyone listening to this. I'm just really upset at the damn phone. Yeah. So, so we're stowing away on the on this thing. It's a cargo ship. I guess it probably takes three days to cross. I don't know. Oh wait, that clip distance is like. I wish I could tur manually turn that up because that is that is painful. Um. Is what that is. But hey, we're here! I'm working. Heh. Mm-hmm. It's Yuffie! And she's totally blocking, uh... I have some tranquilizers, and I tend to not use them, so, okay. I don't know if I actually get anything for doing that. Uh, actually, wait. I do know one thing. Yuffie is part of the dating minigame. She starts off with really low points, but the best way to raise them is to do stuff during her sequence where you recruit her, which costs you lots of money. We're probably not going to be dating Yuffie. However, I know that giving her a tranquilizer makes her like you more. Uh, she's also blocking access to a materia, don't worry, we're gonna get that later. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's an all. So it's not even that big a deal. Hey, it's Aerith! Oh yeah, that thing was cool. Oh, that's... that's the irony there. If you know, you know, and if you don't know, well... Don't spoil it. Hey, what's in here? Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, sure you will. He doesn't know who you are, and he doesn't care. Who is this up here? I said, who is this up here? Okay, it's Tifa. Okay, so just for keeping track, so far we've encountered six people on this ship, and half of them have been our allies. Um... <laughs> yeah, definitely! I, I just... yeah. Uh, hello! Mm-hmm, sure. Hey, you sell stuff, don't you? You do, just potions to Phoenix Dance, it's not that big a deal. Uh, but you do sell stuff. I'm tired. Give me 250 gil. I mean, this is a tent, okay? Uh, no, thank you. It's a it's an inn. It is an inn in a bottle. Well that just looks weird. We we've gotta investigate that. Um So I think we, um, we don't outnumber the Shinra soldiers, but we, we make up a significant fraction of them, don't we? What is wrong with you? Uh, oh. Oh, and that, that explains a lot. Uh, yeah, you're definitely a fine hu human male. Uh, oh my. <laughs> That's just... that's just terrific. <laughs> Let's freaking save, because I actually haven't for a while. Uh, yeah. Oh, that save message is still there. There's nothing I can do about it, unfortunately. Hey, no, get out of the damn way! 
I've talked to everyone. I need to. I can't. I can't walk past you. I need to get. I need to get over there, though. It's the thing. So. I guess I'll go talk to everyone again. Sigh. Hey Tifa, how's it doing? Yeah, yeah, you will. I mean, I might just be having troubles with the tank controls, or I might have to actually talk to someone to get past there. I'm, I'm actually not sure which it, it is. Okay, well, I don't need to talk to you, that's for sure. Okay, that was probably it, because I haven't seen Barrett, and he's probably going to do something stupid. Pro uh... There we go. Hey! Gee, I wonder who this could be. Yes, yeah, Barrett. Uh... I mean, you say that, we could... I'm pretty sure... Like, is this glass bulletproof? I'm pretty sure you could murder them. Um... I'm not saying that it would necessarily be a good idea, but I'm pretty sure you could. So... So what am I actually, like, uh, doing here? Oh? You're actually gonna try to murder them. Don't do it, Barret. Oh. Well, that can't be good. I mean, there are, like, seven of us. Wait, are there seven of us? I've lost... I have lost count. There's... Those three... No, there's six of us. One less than seven. I mean... I would like to say that if they would find anyone, it would be Barret. But I don't think that's actually true. If they would find anyone, it would be either Red, because he he has his freaking tail sticking out, or Yuffie, because she's a, dressed as a seaman who is seasick. Uh, probably Red, though, uh, who is not up there. Oh yeah, let's all... Right, let's all gather around all suspicious-like. But you know, the guy who's selling stuff, he's just standing right there. He doesn't care. Okie dokie, then. Wait, what? Actually, come to think of it, she doesn't really know who Sephiroth is, does she? Hmm. Anyway, I'm gonna stick with this party for a while, because it seems like the thing to do. Ah, uh, And also... Let's see. I did that. So, I want to... Spirit. No, no, take this one. Uh, I want to change your. I'm going to give you the atomic scissors now. I'm going to take away your. Should I take away cover? I mean, I probably should, but. You know, I'm at a stage where I don't need to be getting limit breaks. So having cover on someone is still good. But at the same time, you should really be on the back row. Uh, I can just give you a long range, though, can't I? Mm. Let's do that, yeah. And I also want to give you the boomerang. Okay, so. Let's see. You can... Yuffie has it. Okay. Let's see. Fire, lightning, restore. Uh, you know, I need to give my freaking, uh... I need to give revive to someone, so I'll give that to Yuffie. Uh, so... I have the elemental, I'd like to have that equipped to someone. So... how about... element... I don't want to put... Hmm... Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Hit the wrong button. Also, I'm gonna do that. Because I still want restore all. But, I want an element on my armor because it's not really a good time to have it on my attack right now. I don't think. Okay, I need to actually arrange this thing so I can see what I'm picking. Okay, uh... 
Probably not poison. Actually, definitely not poison. Uh, poison is not elemental. That's seven. I mean, I'm probably going to... That's 730, actually. No, that's 720. That's seven... Okay, I'm hearing a good argument for ice and lightning. Since they're the two ones that are closest to mastery. Actually, wait, what does Cloud have on? Restore and summons. That's, that's helpful. Yeah. Uh. No, not double lightning. Uh, ice and lightning. Sure, sure, it, that makes sense, right? Yeah. Anything else I want in here? I mean, I could throw an earth, I guess, but... Maybe... Si nah, it feels pretty worthless. Okay, yeah, I'm happy with this. Now, if I had the HP Plus thing, which I've had games where I just went for that straight away, because that stuff's actually really expensive, uh, I would combine that with cover. Because, obviously. But anyway. Yo. No, I don't want to change my... Okay, that's how it's going to be, eh? Yo. No, I'm not. You don't care. You just want to sell stuff to me. And I respect that. My name is, after all, Sel McLeod. And actually, I gotta say, I think you have the real makings of a member of Soldier. After all, only a member of Soldier can be set, could possibly be such a shameless sellout. Um. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so. I pretty sure I just want to go straight this away. Also, Yuffie move so I can pick up that materia. It is an all materia. Okay, he's dead, and he's dead, and... Okay, well, now he's dead. He was only mostly dead. Are there not any encounters here? I feel like there's... Oh, no, there they are. There we go! This is actually really important, because these assholes... I want to steal stuff from these assholes, and that is why the sleeping thing is advised. Because... because they do that. Uh... But I don't care if Cloud is blinded, as long as he can steal. Oh, I forgot to put Barret on the front row. Whoops. I'm gonna need to fix that, uh, after this battle. Which might take a while. I just want to steal one of these things, and I'll probably cut to the end. Of the battle, because there we are, a Shinra Beta. What is the Shinra Beta? You might ask? Why, it is everything. I mean, not really, but it's sort of like the Carbon Bangle. Actually, it's exactly like the Carbon Bangle. It is a good piece of armor, which I want to use to armor my guys. Because it's a good piece of armor. You know, this has just now occurred to me, but the Atomic Scissor, it's basically a giant uh, bottle cap opener. Um, it still looks hilarious, though. Maybe not quite as classic as the freaking cannonball, but it's still it's still got got it, I'd say. Okay. Uh, no, come on. I need. Okay, I want like six of these things, actually. So, I'm not gonna, you know what, you know what, this is a good time to cut, I think. I will, oh, okay, well I need to still steal it first. Damn it, Cloud! Can I just, really, whatever, this is a good time to cut. So, I will meet you once I'm done stealing Shinra, actually no, I'm gonna, no! No, resist! 
I can finish it off with... Uh, but I want to show that! Okay. Okay, this is a problem now. Because I want to cut to when I'm done collecting Shinra Bettas. But I also want to use Yuffie's Limit Break. Um... And the two are not really going on very well with each other right now. Because Cloud cannot steal freaking anything right now for some reason. Oi. Just take it already! Damn it, Cloud! Obviously, my rate can't be that low, because I didn't... I didn't have that much trouble in the first two! Oi. I actually really wish stealing was more consistent in this game. Like, any mechanic like stealing in this game, the way I, it should be programmed, I mean it's not, but the way it should be programmed is it it's collumative, so the more times you use it, the more likely it is to succeed. Simply because that will be far less frustrating for a player. Because you will event you are eventually guaranteed to succeed that way. Although it may take a statistically improbable amount of time, but well at least it's guaranteed. Whereas this, I mean, it is statistically impossible. Well no. I mean that's not true. It it is <laughs> improbable, but technically possible for this to me to never, ever steal the freaking item from this asshole. Uh, just because that's the way random chance works. I mean, eventually I'll do it so many times that it is a statistical, it is a statistical certainty, but not a actual real life certainty, because that's how randomness works. A true random number is actually random. Not that computers are actually truly random, though, now that I've said that. It's less than truly random, which can work for or against me. Okay, this is, this is getting stupid. Do you know what? I'll just cut to when I steal the stupid thing! We did it! Now let's kill this bastard with Grease Lightning. It's Grease Lightning! Which is a little, looks a little bit underwhelming. But as far as I'm concerned, is it totally a reference to Greased? Uh, so, you know, I'll take it. Anyway, let's check out that equipment that we just stole. Uh... Wait, what do the defense percentages actually do? Is there like some sort of uh... No, I have no idea. Okay, I'm gonna look that up after this episode. But in the meantime, I'm pretty sure... Well, no, this actually has zero magic defense. Okay, if this is the PlayStation version, this is strictly better. Uh, in this version, it may not be. But it does give me an extra slot to put material on. So, I'm still probably going to go for it. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, although, I'm not sure I need... six of these. <laughs> well, no, I still want six of these. Hmm. Okay, well, what materia do I actually want to equip? I don't need another all materia, but I would like to put, throw in my fire on someone. Uh, I would like to throw... Earth on someone? Hmm. And I mean, I'm not going to get any more chains. Well, maybe one more if I really want, but... You know, I think I'm good with three. I don't actually need to equip any more materia. Well, I mean, one more. Like I said, I want to equip Earth on someone, but other than that... <clears throat> so, I'll just give you a Shinrabetta, and give you Earth, and that's all I really need. And then we'll go into... and that'll save me a lot of... a lot of time grinding up collecting more Shinrabettas. Uh... 
yeah. Although, seriously, if you're playing the PS1 version, I actually highly recommend getting a full set of those, because they are strictly better. Uh, just not on the PC. You know, that's not going to tell me what I want to know. Okay, let's go into the damn room. Hey, it's a box! Let's... Oh, there's totally a guy in red right there. But we're going to fight monsters as we try to collect this box here, and I still haven't fixed my rows. Okay, is Cloud actually on the back row or not? I don't- I- I actually don't know. Also, I- I'm just gonna use- I'm just gonna use Chocobo. You know, I should give my summons to Yuffie instead of Cloud. Or not necessarily Yuffie, but I still should give them to Cloud. Because the thing with these is they're really good for ranking up, uh, enemy kills. Which Cloud doesn't really need. Um, because you get half of your limit breaks from killing enemies, right? With a specific character. And Cloud does take more kills, but he takes more kills because he's in your party for the whole freaking game. He's in the party like two or three times as much as any other character, uh, but his numbers are only about twice as high. So, he doesn't really need the extra kills. Okay, so, I'm gonna address the summon thing, probably between episodes, the layout thing between episodes, because it takes a while to fix the layouts, and I don't, for, I don't really want to do that on the screen, to be honest, that's just what it boils down to. Uh, however, <laughs> what I'm gonna fix right after this battle... is... My rows are all still all screwed up. This ass- oh no, he doesn't have long range. You do have long range, though. So it's actually set up properly! Oi. Okay. Whatever. It's a wind slash! What even is that? That's like a battle item, isn't it? No, it's actually a weep on for Yuffie. Huh. Go figure. Wait, no. Arrange it for first for type, and then for battle. It, is it better than the thing I just bought for her? Uh, I mean, sort of? It's, it's same power, more accurate, but it has double growth. So, I could dump Earth again, and then that would give me double growth on throw, and... Probably revive. Uh, add one other material of my choosing. Heal, maybe. Uh, hmm. Is that worthwhile, though? I think it's probably worthwhile. Even though I basically wasted my money on my boomerang. Man, that, that, that annoys me. Uh, right, so let's do that. And... No, no, that's wrong. Uh, heal goes there, and fire goes here. That one's almost about to get level 2. That'll be cool. And double growth. Because there aren't very many we weapons in this game that have double growth, so you should really use them while they are effective. Is the my is my thinking. Anyway, let's, uh... Let's go, let's go deal with this. Hello, creepy guy. No, actually he's also dead. After a long sleep, the time has come. Well, that appears to be Sephiroth. Also, he didn't float it up through the damn floor. Uh, what the hell? What the hell? Also, what? Whoa!
It is... Genova Birth. With the Genova music. Which is really a really good battle theme. But also Genova... Er, Genova it... Wow. Whoa! That did a lot of damage! Why did that deal so much damage? <laughs> wow. Okay. So... Maybe this isn't going to be so hard. Uh... Because that one attack dealt, like, a quarter, over a quarter of Genova's life. I want to say, I think Genova has 4,000 life. So, wow. Uh, it does do that, though. Which was a lot more threatening when the Scorpion did it. Let's use Shiva. Um, hmm. So the only thing to keep in mind against Genova here is that it absorbs poison. Wait, maybe poison is an elemental effect after all. Whatever. Don't, do not use poison against Genova. <laughs> you will regret it. Summons though, those are okay. Limit Break's also pretty good. As, as Cloud's thousand damage can attest to. Man, I don't know what caused that, because that was way higher, higher than I was expecting. I mean, my summons are only do doing in like the 200-ish range. Although, in fairness, the summons I have right now are really more for crowd control than boss killing. Like, I don't have any of the really powerful summons yet. Those do not come until much later. Okay, I must have gotten like a critical hit or something, because that one dealt way less damage. I mean, it was still a ton, but... 600 instead of a thousand. Uh, I should actually do something. Like, sure, let's use fire. Why, why not? Actually, Cloud's just hitting really damn hard. Oh, you know what it is? I gave Cloud the Power Brace, so he has plus 10, uh, Power Glove, whatever it's called. So he has plus 10 attack power. And, and we won. Maybe we'll hit 3,000 HP. Anyway, yeah, that, that was pretty quick. And we got a white cape. Yeah, it is pretty gross. The Arm of Genova. Okay, so here's the thing. We want to pick up that that materia right there. Really badly. Uh... No. Yeah, we should hide somewhere right after we pick up Ifrit, because that thing is totally missable. Uh, and I guess we'll equip Ifrit to some... Wait, I'm running out of space. Okay. Time for another Shinra beta. I suppose. Uh... Yeah, okay then. Ooh, okay, this is gonna be a long one. But... But I actually need to make it to a save point because I want to stop. Like, I'm at the end of my session. Which means I actually need to save because I'm gonna turn the game off when I'm done. But I think I'm fairly close to a save point. I mean, I guess we'll see. At least I hope so, because I know there's at least one cutscene still coming. Uh... I mean, this is basically a tropical resort town. Uh... Semi-tropical, anyway. Still a resort town. Yeah! Mingle! 
It was adorable. I gotta agree with Aerith. It was Toast Adorbs. What? Okay. Um. Okay. Okay. Mm hmm. <laughs> the idea of Tifa and maybe Aerith going swimming. Yeah, I can understand how that would crack it. Uh, so I'm not even going to talk to you guys in the interest of time. I don't think you say anything that interesting anyway. Uh, however, this is going to happen. Instantly, you can stow away on that ship to go back to Juwan. And we're going to be doing that. Uh, I don't think next episode, but maybe the one after. Maybe. We'll see. I'm actually concerned about running out of money at Port Condor, so if nothing else, I want to I want to throw whatever money I have left at them. <sighs> yeah, Sephiroth. Oh yeah, yeah we were. They all slipped through, like seven different stowaways belonging to two different groups, all managed to get on board, and killed a fair few number of Shinra employees. <laughs> yeah, he, he's up he he's kind of upset. He's worrying about his future. Because I'll say one thing for Rufus, he may not, he may be an incompetent leader, but he also, but he does know how to deal with it, well, no he doesn't. He's at least knows how to recognize an incompetent underling, which I have to, I can only assume his father could not do because he basically surrounded himself with them. Um, Anyway, let's see. I think there's a save point in here. Because I don't want to leave town yet. Oh, hey, it's an item. Oh? Okay. If you insist. Oh, a fire ring. Behold the fire! You know what? With this, we could totally go get the enemy skill from. Well, actually, I might not be high enough level for it yet, but I could totally survive the enemy skill from the Midgar Zolum of that. Although the Zolum itself may still kill me. I don't know. I'm probably just high enough level now to do it, but you know, whatever. Where's the damn save point? <laughs> Is there one in here? No, no, I can't go inside of the room when they're... Oh, it's Johnny again! <laughs> Wait. I just realized Johnny from the slums was also from Nibelheim? What? What? Did he just call me a murderer? Ha. Huh. Well. Ha. Huh. Hello? <laughs> oh, 
Okay then. Anything new? There is not. Uh, surely there's a save point inside of the inn, right? Also. Oh, I actually don't have a soft. Okay, I'll take one. You got, got, got to be prepared, right? And I will be, as long as anything that happens, happens only exactly one time. Two hundred gil. Well, it the in price inflation has begun. Cause I feel like hundred gil isn't was a natural resting point, but clearly we've passed it. And no, I'm gonna have to watch another damn cutscene before I can quit. This this is like two episodes long, but I need to do this. That's hilarious. But no, I actually want to go talk to Hojo because apparently I can't leave until I've done it. Hey. Seriously though, Hojo is like a little imp and he's surrounded and look at how he is resting. This guy. Mm -hmm. And that would be... Huh. And what would that be? What? So, what are you talking about? Hmm. What is he talking about? Actually, I know what he's talking about. I'm not going to pretend. I know exactly- well, I mean, I'm sort of going to pretend. I'm sure as hell not going to tell you what he's talking about. I mean, he's being, like, annoyingly and deliberately vague, so... But... What you going to do, I guess? Yep. He fell in love. That implies that Hojo knew Aerith's mother. Well, that's in. <laughs> Let's try that again. Let's try saying that again. Well, that's quite interesting. I'm not so sure. I mean. Do you know, Sephiroth definitely came from Genova, probably, but, I mean, well, let's be honest, Genova is clearly not human. That's the long and short of it. So, if ancients are humans, then Genova cannot possibly, possibly be an ancient. Wow. I really I really want to know when they see him, like actually. <laughs> that is great. But no, we're leaving. Wait, I'll, do you sell stuff? Wait, what? Okay. Don't, don't you dare. No, I'm leaving. So I can save. There, we're done! We did it! Join me next time when we, I guess, I guess we go west because Hojo sort of mumbled that we should do that. Also, let's be honest, it's not like we have anywhere else to go. So until next time, this has been Chaos Blue, and have a great day. Bye!